once we have a clear idea on the ASP.NET MVC architecture or request lifecycle flow and its history, it is very much essential to understand the differences between ASP.NET Web Forms and ASP.NET MVC. Because an ASP.NET Web Forms developer, whenever he or she learns ASP.NET MVC, usually they use the knowledge of Web Forms in MVC, which creates lots of problem in understanding the ASP.NET MVC, and usually confuses the developer in ASP.NET Web Forms, I used to develop like this. Why not happening the same in ASP.NET MVC? So now let us first understand the differences between these two technologies in detail for better understanding of ASP.NET MVC. First of all, let me clear that ASP.NET MVC is not replacing ASP.NET Web Forms or it is not a replacement of ASP.NET Web Forms. Both these development models exist and can be used to develop ASP.NET applications. Both have pros and cons that we will discuss and compare now. ASP.NET Web Forms use page controller pattern approach for rendering layout. In this approach, every page has its own controller that is code behind a file that processes the request. ASP.NET MVC uses front controller approach. That approach means a common controller for all pages process the request. In ASP.NET Web Forms, there is no separation of concerns. As we know that every page .axpx has its own code file, code behind that is axpx.cs or vb file. So both are tightly coupled. In ASP.NET MVC, there is a very clean separation of concerns. View and controllers are neatly separated. In ASP.NET Web Forms, because of this coupled behavior, automated testing is really difficult. In ASP.NET MVC, testability is a key feature. Test-driven development is quite simple using this approach. In ASP.NET Web Forms, in order to achieve stateful behavior, view state is used. Purpose was to give developers the same experience of a typical WinForms application. ASP.NET MVC approach is stateless as that of the web. So there is no concept of view state. In ASP.NET Web Forms, statefulness has a lot of problem for web environment in case of excessive large view state. Large view state means increase in page size. In ASP.NET MVC, as controller and view are not dependent and also no view state concept in ASP.NET MVC, so output is very clean. ASP.NET Web Forms models follows a page life cycle. No page life cycle like Web Forms request life cycle in simple ASP.NET MVC model. In ASP.NET Web Forms, along with statefulness, Microsoft tries to introduce server-side controls as in Windows application. Purpose was to provide somehow an abstraction to the details of HTML. In ASP.NET Web Forms, minimal knowledge of HTML, JavaScript and CSS is required. In MVC, detailed knowledge of HTML, JavaScript and CSS is required. In web forms, because of the above abstraction was good, but provides limited control over HTML, JavaScript and CSS, which is necessary in many cases. In MVC, the developers will have a full control over HTML, JavaScript and CSS. In web forms, with a lots of control libraries availability and limited knowledge of other related technologies, ASP.NET Web Forms is RAD, Rapid Application Development Approach. In MVC, it's a step back for developers decrease in productivity. ASP.NET Web Forms are good for small scale applications with limited team size. Whereas MVC is better as well as recommended 
approach for large scale applications where different teams are working together.